Hey there, Sharon Rowan Nelson here. Welcome to day three of our Let's Grow annual challenge. Today we're going to do something kind of quick and easy. As long as I have COVID, it's going to be quick and easy. And as we go throughout the year, some days we'll have a bigger action item than others. And sometimes the things that sound really, really easy and seem like they're going to be easy, like today's, might actually be challenging or hard for you. That's just the way it is. It depends where we are in our journey, whether things are a challenge or difficult for us or not. Sometimes an exercise or a tool will trigger us a little and we'll have resistance against wanting to even ask the question or do the task or take the action item during the day. And if you find yourself in that position, instead of beating yourself up and saying, oh, this is so easy, I should be able to do it, take a deep breath and ask yourself, why are you resisting doing this particular exercise? I, uh, Following my sudden cardiac arrest in 2010, one of my mentors and coaches recommended that I do read a book by a woman by the name of Lynn Grabhorn and then do the workbook that goes along with that book. And so I took that as a challenge and I committed to myself that I was going to do all the exercises in the workbook that went along with this book, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting. And what I learned was that there were exercises in that book that I did not want to do and resist. There was one in particular that I actually told myself as I was going through the workbook, I couldn't move on to the next exercise until I finished them. I had to do them in sequential order. It's a rule I set for myself and that's fine, but I committed to myself that I would do that. And it literally took me two months to work up the courage and to get myself to do one particular exercise. And what's interesting is as soon as I did that, I finished the whole rest of the book in about two or three months, but it had taken me, you know, I don't know, four to six months to get up to that point. Then I was literally stuck on one exercise and I looked at it every single day, but I could not get myself to do it. Why? Because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to do it yet. And then finally, after two months of talking myself into it, I did the exercise and it was easier than I thought it was going to be. I just had been dreading it because I had to face some bad choices and bad decisions I'd made in my past. And I had to let go of them and move on past those. And once I did that, everything opened up and, and it became a whole lot easier. So you might find that as we're doing some of these daily actions, they seem really easy. Like today's, we're going to rate our current level of growth, our overall current level of growth uh, on a scale of one to 10. One being, hey, not much is happening. You give yourself a zero, but I don't like to give myself a zero for anything because it means that I'm pretty much dead and nothing zero is happening. That means I'm I'm not taking care of myself at all. I'm not moving in the direction I want my life to, etc. So I say let's at least start at a one, meaning not a lot of growth is going on. I find that I'm stagnant. I've been stuck here for in this area for X amount of years, etc. And there's a couple areas in my life that I personally know that I am stuck in, which is why I'm excited to do this challenge, because I want to push myself to grow in those areas in particular this year. So overall, a scale of one to 10, one being not much growth going on, pretty much just in a routine and doing the same things in day in and day out. And if that feels awesome for you, then that's great. Give yourself a, a, a higher growth rate or hey, I'm in a good position. But if it doesn't feel right to you, if there's something in your gut that says, oh my God, I feel like I've been running on this same treadmill since 2020. Anybody? Anybody feel like there's areas of your life that just got frozen with the pandemic and you're just kind of stuck in this loop there? Sometimes I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day, that movie uh, that, you know, he relives the same day over and over and over again uh, because we're not ready to move on. So, and there's lessons that we need to learn. As soon as we learn those lessons, poof, everything opens up and we move on. So all we're going to do today is think about your, your growth, your current level of growth. I guess it's a level of growth uh, and where you are right now. And that's all we're doing is we're saying, okay, here's where I am right now. We're not judging it. We're not beating ourselves up for it. We can break it down any way we want, but we want to come up with one number between one and 10 that we feel comfortable that that's where we're at right now. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I actually broke mine down into a couple of categories. I put uh, personal growth, career and professional growth, business growth, other areas. And what we'll probably do, let's be blatantly honest here, down the road in a couple of days, we will probably rate ourselves in all the different life framework areas where we feel we are with respect to 
growth and continuous improvement and becoming a best possible version of ourselves. Uh, any questions, there's going to be a write-up in guide two of the let's go, let's go, let's grow annual challenge private group page. I created a page on the first and the videos are in guide one of that. And it's a different setup now since I set up social learning groups a long time ago. So I'm hoping it's correct and it's going to work out right. Seems to be working by day two. We'll see. I'll add day three today and we'll see if it's, it's working right. But guide one videos, guide two write-ups. And I'm trying something new this year. I'm creating a story, a person's story, different scenarios, one a day. And so at the end of the year, we'll have 365 days of different people's stories that we'll have shared with respect to some type of growth, some area or aspect of growth. I can't remember what today's was, but there'll be a story and a lesson there. And it's up to you to read and see what you get out of the story. Maybe you get nothing out of the stories. I get a lot out of other people's stories. I love to see other people grow and transform and change as they go through their life's journey. And so I want to share a bunch of stories like that this year, something different, just something different. So we'll have the write-up and the story in guide two for uh, each day's lesson this year or e each day of our challenge. Any questions, any comments, any feedback, any concerns, please let me know. The sooner I hear from you, the sooner I can tweak and make changes to make sure the challenge is everything that you need to grow this year. All right, have an awesome day and I will of course be with you tomorrow.